Welcome to Vinyl Studio. This is a brief tutorial on how to split a recording into tracks and then save those tracks for use in other programs such as Windows Media Player or iTunes. Of all the things that Vinyl Studio can do, this seems to be the area that users find most difficult to master. So let's get started. We've already made the recording itself, we're just going to focus on the track splitting process in this video and that all takes place in the split tracks window, so let's go there now. As you can see, Final Studio shows you the name of the album, the files that have been recorded, and down here at the bottom in blue there's a display of the audio itself. At this point we can either enter track information manually or look it up online. Getting it online is much easier, so let's see if we can find a match. OK, these are retrieved from Discogs, and there are a lot of matches for a popular album like this one. So we need to find one that doesn't have any bonus tracks and such like because uh, we've just got a vinyl recording. So let's see if we can find one. This looks good, it's got the tracks we need, it's got track times which will enable Vinyl Studio to put track break markers in roughly the right place which speeds things up a lot so let's select that one. Let's also look for some cover art. It's not ideal. It's better. So let's grab that and go back to the main screen. So here we have all the tracks that have been retrieved from the database and down here we have all the track break markers in roughly the right place but now we need to fine-tune them to get them exactly where we want them so that we get the best results. Doing that involves a bit of manual work but it's worth it. So first off let's zoom in a bit and you can see that Several of the markers are off by roughly the same amount, which is quite common. So let's put that right. I can drag markers in a group by holding down the Alt key, like this. Or I can drag them individually. Move these two, this one on its own, OK, so that's side one done. You can listen while you work, which helps with this particular track because it fades in gradually. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's demonstrate that. Let's bring this back here. Right, let's see what we've got. Need to come back a bit. OK, that's pretty good. these back as a group. Just going to whiz through the rest of these now. Put them in roughly the right place. Probably spend a bit more time on it than this. And you'd be listening to what you were doing to make sure that it was right. Let's 
Okay, that's about it. So now Advanced Studio has got all the information it needs to save your tracks as individual audio files, one per track. These files will play anywhere and they carry all the appropriate tagging information and cover art. So let's save them now and then look at what we end up with. We go up here, Save Tracks. Select the file format we want. Select the encoding options we want. And then kick the process off. Final Studio uses all the cores in your CPU when it's doing this, so that speeds things up and it doesn't usually take long. And if there are any problems, they'll be displayed in the progress window there. Okay, that's it. Let's have a look at what we've got. So here they all are. You can see that's the name of the file, but you can see here that they've been properly tagged and media players will pick up that information and display it and let you sort by it and search by it and so forth. So let's open one in Media Player. And you can see that the cover art is there. The tagging information is being displayed up here. And I don't think you can hear this on the video, but the track is playing in my headphones. So that's about it. Final Studio can do a lot more than this. It can burn CDs and DVDs, it can clean up noisy or damaged recordings and a bunch of other stuff. If you'd like to know more please visit our website and if you do that you can also download a free trial for either Windows or Macintosh. Thank you for watching and enjoy Final Studio.